Welcome back, guys. We have a little bit of money to play with. Uh, we have what? 21 million or something? No, 17 million. 21 was wishful thinking. Uh, but what we're going to do isn't actually going to cost that much, I don't think. Because uh, we have an oil well here. And we're going to utilize that oil well instead of this one. And we're going to have trucks going over to here. Or we have trucks going here and up there. And the trains going over there. Hmm, that's a good question. Because right now, our uh, fuel delivery line train is basically picking up crude going down here, dropping off crude, going down here, picking up crude, going up here, dropping off crude, picking up oil, going way down here, picking up fuel and taking that up to San Antonio. Now, that means that it's going empty all the way up there and it's going empty all the way, well, just that little bit down there. But if we could have it not go empty, or a lot of it, I think we could be looking at a really, really good setup. So yeah, I think we're going to do trucks here. So the first things first. Let's upgrade this bit of road. We'll get a building in. Put it in there, that's fine. We are going to configure this. Uh, configure so that we have a second terminal here. We're not picking anything up, so that's fine. And we're going to put in a new line. New line from there two there and this is going to be cargo truck production oil sand okay and we can get 20 vehicles on that I think Set you on cargo truck production oil San Antonio. Okay, now let's let the game play on slowly. All right, now we need, and uh, that's food, that's flat cars. So we need this line and the manage line. So it goes San Antonio Cargo Hub, Sacramento South, which I want to rename. I want that to be Sacramento Oil Well. Or, uh, yeah, oil, oil well. Uh, then it goes back to San Antonio Cargo Hub. Then it goes to Sunnyvale Fuel Depot. Goes up to San Antonio. And then it does not go up there. And that's basically it. So... San Antonio, you are just dropping off, yeah? And then in San Antonio Cargo Hub, you are unloading nothing. You're basically just not doing anything. Because then you go down to the oil well, pick up, go back, and then go. 
So we are cut, we've cut off this entire bit, which is where it's going empty. Well, from there to there. And I think that's a pretty darn good deal. A pretty darn good deal. And we have our trucks. We need to manage the line and here, say, uh, I'll load that, unload nothing, and wait forever for a full load. What are you doing? Okay, and what is your rate? 136. That is nowhere near enough. Uh, let's pin that. Manage vehicles. Clone. And clone. 407. That's good enough. Okay. And what we could do is just cut off a little bit there, but it's fine. Okay. And I want you to be on Terminal 2. Can you please go to Terminal 2? That's why I built the extra terminal. Okay. And Fort Collins now wants fuel. Not a lot, but some. So... What's the rate on our train line here now? Because, whoa, a little lag there, a little lag. Uh, you're the box train. You are the fuel train. 372. That's actually not enough. Well, I suppose it is. Yeah, it is. Because you only want 178, so yeah. It's more than enough, actually. You could take a train off that line. And you know what? I think we will. The next empty train. Uh, how are you looking? Are you going to get... Oh, yes you are. And how many people are waiting? 61 still? What about in San Antonio? A decent amount of people waiting. I don't know why you pick up stuff that's going the other way. That really bugs me. As it really, really bugs me. But this is good. Uh, so you'll be picking up fuel or oil. Actually. You have a full load of stuff there which is nice did we make these 320 meters long i actually think you may have may have done that yeah we did so we could carry more uh, you are coming up with crude i want a train that's going empty down there
So you're coming up with fuel. You are that train. So you're coming up with fuel. You'll drop off 180 fuel. We have a lot of stuff sitting here. No, good. So when you go back empty, we'll sell you. San Antonio hasn't been made 320 meters long, I don't think. Uh, so. Okay. So what's your rate now? 247, that's fine. Wow, look at the money. Yes, we pay it all. Man, we only have a debt of three million now. One million plus five. But this is good. What? Go some more so we can pay off everything. That was the wrong way. Come on. So our train income is rather erratic. But I think we're going in the right direction. There, no loan. Let's take a look at our lines. So box is losing quite a lot. You will to Fort Lauderdale isn't doing great. Um, one thing I have forgotten to do is hook up Salinas. So let's pause just a second while we have some money. And road. We want to drop off food in here. Let's do that. And then we'll do new line from here to here. And this will be cargo, crop, delivery, food, pal. Well, yeah. I said yes. And we'll buy some vehicles for that. We'll buy vehicles. We want these guys. We want 10. Cargo truck delivery food, Salinas. Alright. And let's just get the Salinas line up and see what kind of rate it'll have. That's not good. That's not good. I can't have them waiting forever because then they'll block the entrance for the other ones. Uh, let's double it and get one more car. Truck. 70. That's exactly what they wanted right now. So that's fine. Alrighty. Then, uh, let's just see this. Uh, what's your rate? 
You are at 100. I think we have way too many trucks on this. Uh, manage vehicles. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I still want the line open. In that. That's so three more. And three more. Because we don't need them waiting in that huge line. I don't believe that rate. It'll be 400 because we are picking up as fast as we possibly can. And this is doing just fine. So let's see. We'll give it a little time. The what those trucks do. Hey, oh, Grand Prairie now accepts goods. And fuel? I feel like they already did. Well, at least the well, fuel. So we could deliver fuel to those guys as well. Which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but we'd have a train going with next to nothing up there, which I really don't like. What we could do, what we could do is take our boxcar train our boxcar train wow there's a lot of food sitting here we probably need another boxcar train uh, you only have a rate of 66 but you don't have that many uh, cars on you so edit Do that and then we'll do I know it's called box but I think we'll do something like that can't afford to modify it right now just to get the fuel going up to uh, Grand Prairie and Fort Collins And if we take a look at the cargo layer, we want fuel there, so this covers it. Uh, Fort Collins, you want fuel in here, so you are kind of covered as well. Okay, good, good. Is our boxcar train that's the grain train that has to be the boxcar train yeah 
It has nothing on board. It's rough getting up there. It doesn't help that it has had to stop. But what we, what I want to do, I want to configure this. Oops. And I want to propose that. I want to get another cargo platform on here. And then we want tracks. the switch it's there come on pause a second we'll lose this and we'll see if we can't get it going uh, so you come in there we can go a little bit further back I think Go in there. And you go in there. Okay. That worked. And we will double slip. And on this side, we will double slip. And that works. And then in here, we want... Uh, I think we'll put both of you on terminal two. Like so. Okay. All right, it's Christmas. And we are in 1930 in just a second. There we go. Let's see. All right, this looks fine. Don't mind that too much. Got some new vehicles. Nice and nice. Now, what does your rate say? 406. See? I told you. And sell you. And sell you. This uh, should be the optimal amount of trucks, I think. Pretty much. There might be one more than is actually needed, but that's okay. All right. Now, this, I actually want to say, in San Antonio, do not unload fuel. Because the other trains do that. Let's take a look at our lines. Uh, so this is not making money right now. I think it will start making money. Um, that train is not great. 
Uh, flat isn't doing great. What about? Let's let's take a look at the ones that are doing great. The shipping lines, the tools production, the rail delivery. Fuels Provo is doing okay. Food is kind of doing okay. Where is the few food train? You are that kind of train. You are that kind of train. Okay. And you're bringing food down to there, which is great. Because that means that we'll be getting food for uh, Salinas. Right? I hope so. Why did you go over there? Yep, we got food for Salinas. You picked up a hundred. Excuse me. 158 tools and you have a hundred and... And you have 28 food. So Sacramento is getting a little bit of food. Should get a lot of tools now. I think we might need another train on this line. 76,000. You're bringing some tools down as well. Okay, that's fine. Now, where does Sacramento want food? Are we delivering food? Yeah, it's in range of the train station actually. That's fine. Everything is covered. Beautiful. We might need to have more trucks here. How many trucks do we have? We have quite a lot. Should be fine. You have 180. Good. We're going to pick up 75 construction materials. That's actually pretty okay going up to San Antonio. Ooh, look at its fuel. It's completely full. Not its tools, though. Are we not making that many tools? I feel like we're making a lot of tools. But of course, there are uh, some of the tools going back down. Because you'll be picking up uh, both bricks and tools, right? Yep. Good. Okay. I'm enjoying this. I really am. Twenty-three million in the bank. Hey, hey our trains have not made a loss for three, well, for two fiscal years running, which is good. This one has just started. Look, more than 10 million two years in a row. Nice. And that's despite all these horrible, horrible lines. I did by the way, upgrade uh, most of our vehicles, so we don't have anything that is uh, horse-driven or and the steam trucks are gone. So I think that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, the rail delivery is. 
fuel to New York is not doing so well, which annoys me greatly. It annoys me greatly. Because we... We, we do... We've set up so that we should be able to make a lot of money. You're full. I mean, you don't have that much stored right now. Don't have any stored. But it's very annoying. Very, very annoying. So you drop off there, one million. And now we have only 120 or so sitting there. But you do have a lot of uh, crude stored now. We'll pick up there, drop that off. A lot of crude again. It's very, very frustrating that we don't have more. Where's the other train? It's there. It's coming up with 67 fuel only. 67. That is not enough to turn a profit. That simply isn't enough to turn a profit. You're coming down with 168 oil. Yeah. It's very frustrating, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, ah, so we lost money on the trains there. Six million, almost seven million. So annoying. It's very, very frustrating. How? Uh, let's not have them do this. Let's let's take a look at trains. Uh, uh, I don't want them to be going up and down all the time. So two of the passenger lines, all three of the passenger lines are actually in the green right now. That's impressive. Look at that. They didn't stay there, but they did go into the positive and now they're all in the positive again. Nice. The tools is just an amazing line, the tools production. Food to Grand Prairie. Well, production is doing okay. It's making a profit. Uh, to Vancouver and Cleveland is okay. It's making a profit. I feel like we need more cars on that. Um, fuel to San Antonio is doing great. Making a profit. The delivery of tools to Jackson and Provo, yeah, we know that that doesn't make a profit. And uh, we had budgeted with that. Fuel to Provo is doing okay. Or uh, Providence, not Provo for the tools, but Providence. Look at the fuel line there to San Antonio. Very nice. Fuel to Provo just came up. Fuel to New York City actually is in the green right now. For a second, now it's not. Fuel to Port Lauderdale is in the green right now. The flat car is not in the green, and that bothers me. But we basically need. We basically need more demand for. Um, Well, the stuff in the things, uh, the bricks. Uh, the bricks to Fargo and Scottsdale is doing okay. Mainly probably because it's also doing um, logs. And then there's the boxcar, which isn't doing great. Shipping lines, wonderful. 
They just turn a profit constantly. It's great. And a big profit. Uh, road vehicles. Not. Not exactly astonishingly good. But. They're okay. The bricks to. The bricks production is doing okay. Uh, the food, the, the grain delivery is doing okay. The oil delivery is doing okay. Where's this line? Uh, Santa Ana. So this is not a delivery line. This is a production line. Okay. These ships get filled up pretty quick. And they're nicely spaced out and everything. It's beautiful. Uh, what are you coming in with? 39 bricks, so not a whole lot, but you're carrying something on the way back. You're not going empty. And that is key. That is key. We're coming up with 48 tools there. Do we have tools sitting here? A little bit. You guys are delivering good. This is going exceedingly well, guys. We're up to 38 million and we don't have a loan. Is that great or what? I really, really like that. Okay, so everything seems good. We are delivering here. You're maxed out. And what's your rate? 201, beautiful. And what, click it. Click it. Okay, get it. There we go. Your rate is exactly 400. Wonderful. We actually still have some cars sitting here. So we could probably sell a couple more. Doo -doo -doo. We'll see. I'll let it run a little bit. How big is San Antonio now? 577. It doesn't have any tools. Why are you not getting tools? Oh, we just picked something up. 52 tools. That should be dropped off in San Antonio because the other guys don't want them. So... Those tools should be dropped off in San Antonio. And there's a little bit of fuel. Just a tad. So San Antonio definitely needs to have its platforms lengthened, doesn't it? some fuel in San Antonio. I see. To go up to Grand Prairie and Fort Collins. Okay. Well, the towns are growing. We're making money. We... We're, we're doing okay. How big is our biggest town right now? Is it San Antonio? My guess is yes. Yes, it is. At 574, we have four towns over 500. It's 
so that's not bad. And we'll get more. We'll get more. Yeah. Who are you? Are you you? And we're not using that passenger yet. But I'm really happy that the passenger lines were actually in the green one. Now they're very much in the red, but they were very much in the green. Not very much, but a little bit. A little bit. Um, so it's somehow some sort of proof that they can make money sometimes sort of which makes me very happy because we need the passenger trains in order to grow our towns because it, let, let's take a look at san antonio here so it has plus 60 percent because of the passenger connections that we have so we do need the passenger trains we just need to weigh up the losses that we maybe make on the passenger trains with profits on the cargo trains and that's basically it that's basically it let's see do we have trucks sitting here waiting yes we do so you, uh, you, let's take the back one, sell, you, sell, all right, that seems fine, what about over here now, uh, there are some waiting, sell you, Tell you this seems perfect. Outstanding. And we know the grain line is fine, there's no one waiting there. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful, guys. Absolutely wonderful. So yeah, we are out of time, but I am pretty happy with how things are going right now. Uh, it seems a lot better. We have 45 million in the bank. We have no loan. So next time we'll have 75 million bucks to play with when we set up whatever the next thing we set up will be. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.